are in the thick of holiday. And I wrap it like that. Probably didn't need to buy it when I did. It's going to be a busy, busy day, but I'm so glad you guys are here. Hello, my name's Caitlin, if you're new here, and I am in the studio. We're gonna spend a day in the studio together, but before I get started, I actually have a sponsor for today's video that I wanna share with you, and if you've been watching me for any time, you know I don't really talk about a lot of businesses. I get a lot of emails almost daily to talk about companies and businesses, most of which I've never heard of before, and I am not here to use my channel platform to share stuff with you unless I absolutely believe it is going to be life-changing. So I am so excited to share with you the Kinder Beauty Box. I have been studying for the last eight months to become a certified cosmetic formulator, and in that, I have really tried to understand clean beauty and what it means and let me just say it's incredibly confusing. I love the Kinder Beauty Box because they take all the guesswork out of it for you and it's a fantastic way for you to discover new brands, to try new products, and if you're into formulating it's awesome to understand what people who are really successful are doing with it. So this is the November box. Depending on when you subscribe, you'll receive the box for the month you sign up for. So you might not receive exactly what's in this box, but your box will still be filled with the best of clean beauty. If you sign up for a six month subscription, you get each box for $23 each, which is crazy. And you'll also receive a free box worth $138 value. It is completely vegan and cruelty free. And as someone who is a vegan, I really value that. It does focus on some smaller businesses, which I love. I am such an advocate for small business and small brands, and I would much rather support an amazing, budding small business entrepreneur. The products are a combination of full size and trial size, so it's not like you're paying money to get samples. You're actually gonna get products that are gonna last you a while, and I can tell from these already. I use the highlighter today. I love the highlighter. It's so buttery and creamy, and I actually applied it with just my finger, and you probably can't tell right now maybe you can but I love the way it applied and I was super impressed by it so I'm excited to do a little bit more research on some of the brands that I received if you're interested I do have a code that I'm gonna leave for you down below if you are brand new to the kinder beauty box you can get 50% off your first box and like I said the six month subscription if you sign up the box only ends up being $23 a month which is a great way to spoil yourself too I love when I can get some happy mail that isn't super expensive, but something that helps me with my career as well. And so I wanted to share this with you guys because they truly are a business that checks all the boxes for the values that I have in my own business. And I think you guys will love it. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. But we have a lot to get to today. It is November, which is crazy holiday season for me. I have a ton of wholesale orders to ship out and I'm pretty sure the products on my shelf behind me are pretty much all sold out, which is crazy. And we do have to make a few products today too, but I'm just so excited to spend a true studio day with you guys. And as always, I hope you are excited to spend the day with me. Let's get to it. gonna show you guys a little trick um, my bar soap recipe it doesn't sweat but because I wrap them in the papers I just like to have an insurance policy uh, especially since I wholesale a lot of these bar soaps they could be sitting on a store shelf for a year so I just want to make sure that they are perfect as long as possible so I think I've shown this before but I get this big roll, and I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon, the um, holder, dispenser, and the roll, but they are, it's just freezer paper. And this has been great because I cut them into strips first, and then I cut them down into just like the same size as my paper. 
and I'll show you guys, but I put this in between the paper and the soap, and then I wrap it like that. I'm gonna wrap these bars. I'm about halfway done with the wholesale orders, and I'm hoping I can finish them before my UPS guy gets here so he can take them, because that would mean one less stop this afternoon. <laughs> have to put the back labels on everything and these I actually just print off on labels from onlinelabels.com and they have a great um, program online that you can do to print these so that they actually like match up so super simple I'm gonna label these and then pack them all up fair order to pack for today. And this store is amazing. They ordered 200 of my lip balms. So we are going to um, do a little shrink wrap on them because I don't love this. It's extra plastic. I'm really trying to eliminate as much, how much plastic I use, but because of the volume they're doing, I just want to make sure that they're perfect and sealed and all that jazz. So they ordered three different scents and these bins, by the way, are amazing. They're from Uline. I'll leave them down below for you because I have a whole section for my lip balms here and they're just awesome. And then the same deal with the little samples that I have, they're perfect. And this thing is from Ikea in case you're wondering, in case you want like a setup like this. So that's that. I'm going to shrink wrap those 200 lip balms and I've been jamming out to Christmas music. Maybe it's a little early for you, but because I've been planning Christmas for so long and I'm shipping it and selling it, I figure why not enjoy the sounds of the season, I guess. So that's what I'm doing. order shipping so now I have this big task of basically the shelves behind me have product on them and it's very random and now that there's space on the shelves I need to take that product move it over and then I'm gonna take inventory because I am not a hundred percent certain on my inventory because I had a crazy sales week last week with wholesale so I probably had about 20 wholesale orders and fair I've said it here before for some reason oversells things that it shouldn't and I don't know why because my inventory in Shopify is right so anyway I won't leave today until my inventory is correct so I'm gonna do that now and do a little tidying I was going to make I had one thing to make for one last order and I just don't have it in me it's like it's 140 and I have to go home and walk Lucy so I don't know I feel like I'm gonna reevaluate after I do my inventory and see how long that that takes me. And then we'll go from there. I'm just like not in the mood to make one thing because it's like I have to get everything out. And yeah, so anyway, if I don't do it today, I have to do it tomorrow. And so we'll see. restocked the shelves they're nice and full but it's probably the last time they'll be this full for a while because I'm pretty much done making product for holiday it's November oh, it's 
election day, it's November 8th. Um, so basically for me, my wholesale is pretty heavy right now up until about next week. And then once Black Friday's over, most retailers aren't buying much holiday stuff. They may buy some Coraline stuff, which I'll restock um, throughout the weeks. But for the most part, I'm done with holiday, which is so crazy to think. I know most people aren't even in the mindset for holiday on November 8th, because we've got Thanksgiving and whatnot. So uh, I'm gonna enjoy the beautiful stock shelves while I have them. And then I thought it would be fun to just show you guys an update of the studio because it's interesting to see towards the end of the year how things sort of dwindle down and like I've been telling you I'm being really scrappy with buying materials and just trying to be strategic and save my money where I can so I just figured I'd give you a studio update so let's go you guys have seen the shelves today and my table here so that's not much but over here my bins for bath bomb supplies are almost empty. I pretty much used up everything and I have a lot of colorants left because these don't go as fast, which is fine. Um, and then over here, I've got all of my soaps curing. I still have a good amount. About half of these are Christmas scents and the other half are just core line. So I need to make a few of my core line ones. I haven't used this yet. I showed you guys this months ago. I've had it, actually I've had it for almost a year. I think I ordered it last December. The issue is more so just, I need to hire an electrician to do it and I need to do it safely and drill into the ground here. So I've been talking to my landlord about it and quite honestly, I just haven't had the time to deal with it. So. This is like, I'm holding off on it because I've got so much else going on. It's gonna be my project in downtime next Jan Feb, as we get, we're almost there actually. So same with the pot tipper, like this whole thing, I just neglected completely and probably didn't need to buy it when I did, but that's a learning lesson, I guess, <laughs> for business. And then up here is usually where I have a lot of my lye. I have a little bit more left molds and whatnot but fragrances so I used to have a whole section of fragrances here and that's pretty much gone I have ordered in my larger quantities here but um that's pretty much it and then this used to be a lot of other oils and butters and I've just sort of put my pots and pans there this materials here is for bar soaps and I'm about to make some so almost all the water and rice bran and olive oil will be gone so this is super light. It's not organized at all. Um, I just got this cocoa butter in today, so I need to put it in here actually, so it's nice and airtight. And yeah, and then the bath bomb section, you guys remember all these bins that are empty? Used, this whole section used to be bath bomb boxes, and now we are down to a few. These are actually more like random ones. You can see they're all different, so it's like, last little remnants i don't know I, i'm just saving them because i hate throwing stuff out but yeah this is definitely dwin dwindling down and then the box situation is way more manageable there are times this year where i've had boxes up to the ceiling and all the way out to the door so it's very nice to have this much space here um and i still have quite a few labels but those are mostly all my core line which is fine because we have those year round. And then we've just got our samples here and our little lip balms. And then the packages that have to go out today, my desk. I got rid of the air conditioner because it's now fall, almost winter. And that's it. Oh, and then my little shipping station with some boxes that I just got in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I really should be making another batch of soap. Well, I didn't, I shouldn't say another because I didn't make anything today. I literally just shipped orders all day and got myself in a good spot, but it's three o'clock and it's the first week of daylight savings. So I have to walk Lucy. I told my husband I would do it today and I feel like it's gonna get dark at four o'clock. So I'm probably going to grab all my packages. I think I can make it to the post office and UPS before I grab her. We just got home from our little walk. This is Lucy, if you're new here, she's my baby. 
and it is still slightly light out but not really so i was thinking about something and i would love a way to like connect with you guys more on a daily basis um the vlogs that we do are great but i've been thinking and let me know your thoughts but I would love to use my personal Instagram platform as kind of like a business update kind of a thing. I'm not even really like phrasing this the way I want to, but basically I read a ton of retail news, beauty news. I am spending at least an hour every morning, sometimes to two hours every morning getting information on what's going on in the industry and I want to share that with you guys. I know not a lot of you have that kind of time. Maybe on Instagram I can use it as a platform to give you guys like little snippets of headlines kind of of what's going on. So for instance today I read a really interesting article on the new eye serum that Glow Recipe just released and basically how they made it the top selling eye cream in Sephora and how they got to build marketing around it and how they even came up with the idea. And I think that a little bit more information on sharing that with you guys instead of having you guys go and dig around and try and spend that time kind of giving you guys like headline clips uh, every day, at least Monday through Friday when the publications come out. So I don't know, does that sound interesting to you? I mean, I just feel like I learn so much. I feel like I learn about direct to consumer and everyone is now talking about how wholesale is so much more important for direct to consumer brands. So even like a Glossier, and I know that these are big brands and we are smaller brands, but we can learn from them. So like when I think about that, Glossier is a direct-to-consumer brand that's really struggling and their CEO stepped down, their CEO and founder stepped down, and now they're going to be launching exclusively in Sephora, I believe. So there's just a lot of information that I think we can all benefit from, and the whole goal of this channel and me sharing my daily life as a small business owner with you guys is to help you build your business, and not only in just like a soap and cosmetics world. I know so many of you guys do other food-related things, jewelry, other amazing art stuff all of that stuff that I'm reading can apply to any industry so let me know what you think because I have been struggling to show up on Instagram mainly because I don't want to be like a lifestyle blogger I don't want to be that there's way too many people trying to do that and I don't think you guys really care all that much about what I ate for breakfast right <laughs> so I've been trying to come up with a way to help you guys, benefit you guys, and connect with you more on a daily basis than our little vlogs. So anyway, I think we're gonna go into the office and do some cleaning. It's a mess. When it's the holiday season, my personal life gets a little crazy and... Oh. Lucy, are you the sweetest? She really is the sweetest. But my personal life gets a little crazy and I let things like organization slide. So I think I'm gonna pour a glass of wine and I'm gonna go into the office and conquer the disaster that it is because I am gonna need an office day, maybe tomorrow, and I know I won't be able to be productive until my office is clean. I was not lying to you when I told you the state of my office, but if you follow me on Instagram, I pulled about two weeks ago what color to paint these tables and my husband did an absolutely amazing job. I will put a picture of my inspiration table. They are from Serena and Lily, but they were $1,300 a piece. These, um, I believe were $250 and then my husband painted them. And these gold poles, so beautiful from Amazon. I think it was like $10 for a pack of five. So adorable. So I can't wait to style those. I have some vintage lamps over here that I plan to get some shades for that I thrifted. So I'm gonna use these on the tables. I have a second table over there, but I have a hot mess over here with all my replica surface boards and yeah. So I just poured myself a glass of wine for motivation and I'm going to get going on organizing my office a little bit and trying to put things in organized places. Alrighty, nice and tidy and clean. And I put the end tables where they should go. 
they'll look a lot better once I get lampshades. But I have all of my inspiration magazines here, my Pantone colors, my vision board, everything. And then, I mean, this closet's like organized mess, you know, like there's bins and stuff, but we're just gonna close that door. And then, yeah, got my little clothing rack with some new fall items. And I don't even know if I showed you guys this chair. I got a new chair because the legs on my old one were about to snap. And this one's super comfortable. I love the color of it. It's like a crushed velvet. Um, it's like a green teal, which I kind of love. I'm trying to do a little bit more design work in here. I hate these overhead lights, so I'll be excited to get the lamps. And then I hate these curtains. My husband bought this house before we got married and these have been here for like 12 years. So I need to work on the curtain sort of game next, but it's coming along. I'm actually gonna use one of the products that came in the Kinder Beauty Box. It's a meditation mist. And they say just like spray it around. Oh yeah, that's like, that's super calming. And it's peppermint and sage. Oh feels so good when you have a clean space and I love usually love lighting a candle but I'm gonna put this leave this on my desk so I can use it in stressful times but if you are interested in subscribing to the kinder beauty box make sure you use my link down below so you get 50% off your first box and give it a try because if you're into clean beauty there is nothing else like this I'm telling you I've done my research and I feel like they take all the guesswork out and it's always so fun to discover and support other small beauty brands as we all try and build our own. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me today. I will see you in the next one. Bye.